I'm going hard, 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 hard. I ain't finna let up. You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck. Up. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Run and Tell That. Today's episode, we have Rick Ray, Ohio's own king of comedy, Mr. Old School. Inquire Progress Clothing Destiny Unique. Now make some noise, y'all. Sick, I need a checkup. I'm just trying to run a checkup. Drop to my knees, brand to the so What up, Mr. Rick Rain? What's good with you? What's happening? What's happening? Yes, sir. What's going down, Stacks? No, man. So good to see you. Long, long time no see, bro. Shit, man. Uh, you know, I've been out the way. Yeah, you looking good, though. Uh, Chilling, man. Good, yeah, man. You know, man, everybody was looking for my demise. You feel mm-hmm. me? But I'm good. I'm, 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 oh, I'm no, that didn't happen. Well. Yeah. No, 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 no. They know better than that, man. Yeah. It's all good. It's worried, it's worried though, those stacks. I don't know. What's, How what's you, you being, though, man? man? I'm cool, man. Cool, cool. We're going to tell that. You feel me? I need that light it up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Get him that light. yeah. Please. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, what's up with y'all? I see you've been on the move lately. You out in Florida a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah. I got a spot out there, too. Um, I Basically, you know what I'm saying, it was some personal things that drove me to have to relocate for a second and get my, my, you know what I'm saying, my mind right mm-hmm. and get some of that good sunny Florida weather. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm back and forth, though. I got a spot out there, and I'm back in the Columbus, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and trying to get things situated. Just, you know what I mean? Reconnecting with some resources and seeing what's going on, man, and um, just trying to take – take place in this movement because I see it's coming you know what I'm saying all entertainment platforms not just music you know what I mean business mm-hmm. I see a lot of entrepreneurs over the last five to ten years you know what I'm saying and a lot of people that I've been friends with successful in entrepreneurship and things like that so I'm excited I want to come back and you know what I'm saying and get my little expertise in some areas and get back to the community things of that nature you know what I'm saying smoke yeah. some good herbals yeah. right yeah, yeah, right yeah. So, I, uh, I see you got a new uh, you got a documentary coming out uh, what, tell us about that okay. um I do. Um, so, are you talking about the documentary? Or are you talking about the interview with City? Your documentary, the Rick Ray. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So the documentary, yeah. um, basically. Like what inspires you to do all that? Um, well, really, Nipsey. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, mm-hmm. and 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 I'm not comparing myself to Nipsey at all. But what happened was when Nipsey passed, um, and I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I, 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 we know how to cuss, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, sure yeah. yeah. You can free. We free here. <laughs> but nah, like, it's free. I ain't really fuck with Nipsey like I fuck with Nipsey after he passed. I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah. Like, right, he was, right. he was, when he you dropped the mixtape, 100,000 on the mixtape shit like that, it right. got my yeah. attention. Right. Yeah. But when I start fucking with his music, and it made me start fucking with him as a person, and then I start realizing, like, it was a, a bunch of similarities, and not me to compare myself to him, but just like, like a lot of people knew, like, at one point in, in, in Vegas and everybody I know you two stacks at one point in my in my career I had gave it all up to get back to the community and open mm-hmm. up a preschool center you know what I'm yeah. saying right. so yeah. at that point that. Yeah. at that yeah. point you know what I mean it was like what mattered most to me was like do I want to you know what I'm saying pursue this or do I want to help my city grow and get back to the community and and help out and that's basically what it was at that point in time. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We did a lot of good. We still feeding uh, hundreds and hundreds of families and right. impacted yeah. thousands of families over the, you know what I'm saying, the last, it would be 10 years and 22 next year. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's, it's it was it was like, um, I was on a show with um, Yavis. And Yavis was like, Rick, man, you know, everybody know you do music and everything, bro, but you don't never... Say nothing about the preschool or what you be doing about the community and stuff like that. I said, but at the end of the day, bro, because I do that from the heart, my nigga. You right. feel me? I don't right. got to brag about You don't got to say. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. You don't right. got to say all that. But then I looked at Nipsey's story and I realized like, damn, maybe if he'd have been a little bit more vocal right. about what, what he was doing right. and how right. much he was doing, it wouldn't take him to get his roses after he passed. He yeah. maybe got his big ass pile of roses while he was still here because the little man he was doing a lot bro for the yeah. community yeah, that know. I didn't realize that after he passed either, away right, right. so in saying that I was like you know what man I got a story and I mean some people know me back in the day back in the day like to keep it all bug everybody know my pops ran the strip game around this motherfucker mm-hmm. for like 25 fuck years fuck you man the fuck you man <laughs> the fuck you man and you know what I'm saying I grew up in that shit I was right. 15 when I started coming around and seeing passing out flyers and then once I got a little older and got closer to being grown, he brought me on in, and that was my first one. From Misty's to Alexander's niggas that know that's been right. out here, they know, like, we've been doing this shit for a minute. So I just feel like it's a lot entailed to my story that a lot of people can relate yeah. to. A lot of people don't know that part of right. me. Then right. we get to the teen night segment. 
It's yeah. a whole group of people out there to know that we ran the teen night air yeah. for a, for a long remember, period of time. That. I remember Me and that. my nigga highlight. Yeah. So yeah. it's like yeah. a lot of people know that story, but then yeah. they don't know about this story. They don't know. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying, at this point in time, I just want to kind of gather all that up and I just want to present it to everybody and let the city know like y'all got a real nigga out here that's 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 that's, that's fucking with y'all and it ain't just got nothing to do with the music but it got something to do like I'm giving community. back to the community yeah. I'm doing a little bit of this I'm doing a little bit of that and I've done a little bit of this for years you know what I'm saying so it's, start, it's time for us to start supporting each other and ain't it's like black owned business is, is one thing but as a unity we got to start if we going to grow bro we have to start Watering each other, my nigga. For sure. You feel me? That's the For only sure. world. That's the only way plants grow. Yeah. And right now, niggas is kicking dirt on each other. You feel me? No water. All shade and dirt. Mm -hmm. What shit grow in shade? Do anything grow in shade? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing Not grow in shade. Thing. You feel me? For sure. So we gotta we gotta start watering each other. And that's what I that's really when I came back to the city. I was like, you know what, bro, I'm gonna come back out here. When you asked me to do if you'd asked me to do this show last year, I would have did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't in the right mind state. Yeah. And I wasn't I wasn't being Rick Rain. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was chilling. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Right. But get now, back to doing you. Right. Being it's you. time to get back yeah. to yeah. it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Flat I was out. like that. Um not to cut you off, but I wanna nah, give give my condolence to your partner. You know what I mean? Yeah, my nigga, rest in peace, Big Mike. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, he was quiet, dude. He was cool. I used to see him come to the gym. Mm -hmm. Good dude. Yeah. So, Mike. Uh, so a lot of people don't know. Like um, a lot of people thought me and Light was beefing. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Because on the outside looking in, that's how it looked. A lot of people it looked thought like y'all was beefing. So, but Light, Light has always been my nigga. Yeah. And one thing I respect about Light is he kept going. Yeah, feel me? Yeah. A lot of people right. don't know that me and Light talk. Like when I made that decision with with me, I set Legion down at that time. Me, Light, Juicy, Raindrop, Q, the whole team. I set everybody. Mike was there. We set everybody down, and I told him, "I'm about to step back for like a year or two years to get this business established, so we can help financially foundate this music right. movement." Now I'm right. not stepping out, but I'm gonna step back. You feel me? Right. And this is what I got to do. So, Y'all know this shit costs bread. You feel me? Yeah. And that was kind of part of that whole movement too. So how that, did how did they feel when you when you when you had to say like I'm gonna step back? Like was it any like what the fuck you to, what the fuck you doing type shit? Like what was going on when you did the whole step back shit? So it wasn't because you, you you had a run, my nigga. Mm. Like you know we got history. You damn sure had a run. Then you just stepped back. I had it. I mean, to be honest with you, bro, I was at Def Jam when I stepped back. Yeah. I had a meeting with Lenny S. Um, and this is when Trinidad James was popping. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Lenny was responsible yeah. for that. I had a big meeting with them. I went to New York. I went down to Rockefeller. I posted all that shit on the internet. We went in there and we talked. And if y'all know who Lenny S is, Lenny has his Jay Z right here, man. He at Rock Nation right now. So we talked. And he told me one thing. And this was the thing where I messed up because I had been so focused on getting my business together. I had stopped fucking around with social media. It didn't matter. I was thinking about bread. Fuck that clout shit. I need money. And that's what I was on. But he was like, man, for me to go in this office, your music and everything, your image and everything. Man, if I go in this office, though, the first thing they're going to ask me about is your numbers. So you got to go back to, to, to your city, man, and, and get your, or, you know what I mean? We got to just get your numbers up a little bit, man. And I'm like, well, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I could do that. I wasn't even really in the mind state anyway, bro, because in my head again, I was thinking about when I get back to the crib, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get back to this yeah. business and get this money. Right, I just want right. to see what the fuck y'all talking about. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, it's like I learned now. Now it's, it's, it's more than just who you know. Nigga. We can independently make shit happen, bro. I know people that was around me and you know, like, like Jelly, and, and even highlighting Doobie and them, I know niggas that was grinding, bro, that are now very, very financially set in music. And it, and, and it's not even about being known no more. It's all about numbers, my nigga. Yeah. You do the numbers. I mean, independently, quick, right? Yeah, independently. Oh, yeah. Quick, yeah. I mean, quick math, though. We do the internet. Y'all know a thousand, a thousand people on the internet ain't shit, right? But if a thousand people spend $10 a month with you, that's 10 bands a month. That's 120 k a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That fast. Mm -hmm. Who, a thousand people. So that's why these numbers and all this shit now is important. People got to think independently, man. We don't need no deal. What we need is unity. Right. What Atlanta do is yeah. feed off of each other, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. Them they niggas do. feed. They have the chemistry of knowing how to feed off each other. They're not hating on each other. A nigga got a million followers. Nigga, how can I get you to a million followers? So now we both got a million followers. Then we can help somebody else get to a million followers. That's their mentality. Us, we like, I got a million, nigga. 
Nigga, I ain't posting you, nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. That's that bullshit. Right, That's that right. bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. So we just got to get out of the mentality of it's not a race. I feel sorry. Listen, I'm gonna tell everybody this. So do you I think that you think do you think that's what's holding Columbus back? Is, that? is is that they don't want to put nobody out there with like followers and everything? No, nah, I think what's artists. holding Columbus back is that we're everybody's at race. It's competition. And not realizing that we're all in the same team. How can we how can we have a race against each other yeah. when we run in the same yeah. we right. run the same race on the same team? But what I notice is with the with that whole shit, like it'd be a, it'd be more of a Jealousy type situation. It's a jealousy thing. Like, oh, why that nigga? That nigga doing this shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's a lot going on with that. It's, I don't want to call it hate. It's just like it no unity. Just call it what you see. Yeah. You know what it yeah. is, nigga. Yeah. It's, it's always been that. But it, it takes these conversations. Mm-hmm. It takes these platforms. Mm-hmm. It takes people like you, stacks. People like yourself. People like Vegas. It takes people like Rick Rain. It takes people like us that have influence to show these young niggas like it's cool. And I'm not calling niggas young because of age. I'm calling niggas young because of their mentality. Mind. I know right. some niggas that's right. old as fuck. Right. To the bag, businesses and everything, 22, 23, 24 yeah. years old. So don't mistake me calling you young because your age young, nigga. I call niggas young. Young minded. Young minded. Young minded. minded. For sure. You feel me? For sure. So it's like we got to we got to get people to start understanding. Y'all, y'all praise Atlanta and Houston and all these places, but what for? Because y'all not mocking them. Usually a nigga see something, he imitate it, that he likes. Y'all imitate their clothes and shit like that, but y'all don't imitate their fucking mentality. What the fuck is wrong with that? Right. These niggas stick together. That's why Atlanta, I mean, don't get me wrong, niggas gonna have beef everywhere, but y'all know like I know, for the main part of Atlanta, them niggas stick together. But they bro. get into the bag together. Period. These niggas yeah. don't want to do that. That's they what don't want to do that. But why not? Do because a nigga... Nothing for nothing is nothing. So if you ain't got shit, I'd rather get twenty dollars with you. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if it ain't a hundred, nigga. Let's mm-hmm. get twenty and start there. Mm-hmm. Put our twenty together, get forty, and we get eighty. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. this is with the mentality we got to start. You know what I mean? Like, like when I when my when my business first got going and shit like that, bro, and it, and it called successful. Like I didn't really want to ride around in, in certain shit and shit like that because I felt like I was shitting on niggas. In my mind, though. But in reality, I was like, damn, dog, you work for this, though. You sacrifice everything to get this. Why can't you? You know what I mean? And it, I feel like the mentality of us right now, but we have to you, so you stop saying, about the shade. You, so you saying it would have it would have been like you showing off, basically, to the... That's how, I, that's how I felt. But in yeah. reality, it, it should have been I felt good about it because I earned that's it. That's what right, you did. Right. But it's just not a yeah. lot of niggas riding around in certain shit. Yeah. So it turns into, oh, he flexing yeah. on us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's and the hate. That yeah, hate's going to come hate. out right there. Right. But then that's right. why I'm like, how can niggas, yeah. I can I now help niggas? Like, how can we get to the bag? How can we start getting together? That's why I did this platform, bro. I want to help niggas. Whatever they want to do, if I can support it, I want to come support it. If I don't give a fuck if I got... Five people that watch off my shit that they get hip to it. At the end of the day, we got to start somewhere. And that's what I'm here for. For real, for real. That's what, yeah, I appreciate that too. But you always been a stand-up nigga though. Try, yeah. man. Nah, nah, nah. I'll like try. real talk. Like I remember when uh, Vegas shot my video. You like, Stacks, you need anything? I said, I called you that day of. You was like, I got a radio interview. I'll be right there. You remember that shit? Yes, you know, I Vegas do. clown me because I had the motherfucking slide phone. Yes, I do. I left, went to Walmart, got a whole motherfucking another phone. Yes, yes, I do. These niggas clowning me because yes. I couldn't post it down social media off my phone. So yeah, I had to go get phone. another phone mm-hmm. ASAP. Yeah. 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 We got a lot of history stacks. Yeah. We do, yeah, man. For sure. Vegas, too. Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Hey, a Vegas. lot of people don't know you started out DJing. A lot of people don't know that. Exactly. See, and that's part of the documentary. I did. I started out right. in uh, Misty's. Right. Whew. Courtright Livingston. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that is. That's a whole story. I listen. I'm writing a book and a movie just about that. That that <laughs> that. Oh my God, that motherfucker right there. Yeah. That raised me, bro. Yeah. Like for real. I was in college. <laughs> listen, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I was in college, nigga. This is how I was. I'm a motherfucker hustler. I was in college, right? I'm going back to the crib with the with the camera, recording Misty strip nights. Going back to college, charging niggas five dollars to get in my dorm. Swear to God, nigga, niggas was paying. They was waiting at the door. <laughs> Hook my shit up to the little VCR, to the little cords in the goddamn TV. Now, I swear to God, bro, crazy. They had to see it. Had to see it. Those good see days. It. Yeah. DJing. Sheesh. Yeah. yeah. 
Minute ago, he was DJ for your pops too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we we yeah, we went around, man. Yeah. Couple clubs, six one four, a lot of strip. You know, clubs. I stayed at the six one four. A lot of strip clubs. That was big band. Time, we went to man. two. We went to Tuesday nights and date, and we used to load the van up with all the girls. And you remember that Vegas? You was fucking with mm-hmm. Cleveland too, right? Who? Who from Cleveland? All the Cleveland broads, yes, yeah, yeah. a lot of Cleveland. We, yeah. we had bitches from everywhere, bro. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry, I, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I'm fucked up. I'm keeping it I'm real, sorry. though. But we had bitches Just from keeping everywhere. Keeping it real, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> right. Now it was good times, man. Listen, we had Instagram and all that live shit oh, back then. Horrible. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my Sister God. Sister everywhere. Good. It was good time. <laughs> oh my God. Sure. It was, man. It was, man. But I'm that's glad to be back to the music, man. That's what I love, bro. The what music you, and this shit right here is what the fuck I love for real, bro. What you got God. going on right now with the music? Where you at with the music? My you eyes, so, release anything soon? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I've been playing around and shit, just releasing shit and just letting people know that I'm still fucking around a little bit, but I got right. a big plan coming up and I announced it on here because I ain't even announced it nowhere yet, but if y'all hit, I got a song um, called Religion that I just put out there just to fuck around and play with. If y'all ain't go to Rick Rain, YouTube, Religion, um, the video was shot all the way here, though. It was crazy. Um, took two days to shoot it. And I'm going to tell you all this, too, because everybody don't know. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just let a little, little shit out the bag on here. But I shot that first religion video. When y'all see it, I shot that shit at the Haunted Hoochie, right? It took me oh, four months, nigga, to track this motherfucker down. Y'all hear me? This yeah. motherfucker is like Wes Craven. Yeah. The motherfucker yeah. that owns the yeah. Honda Hoochie. Yeah. 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 So listen, he comes out, finally, yeah. he, he doesn't yeah. meet with me until complete darkness. And I go out there and I'm like, listen, man, I'm a rapper, dog. I'm giving him my spell. And he's just like, are you going to have a big entourage? <laughs> I'm like, nah, man, it's going to be me, the cameraman, and a couple people. He's like, okay, so, all right, you, you can have it, man. Give me two weeks to get everything together for opens up. How long you need it? I said for like a day, like two days. So I rented the whole park out for two days, man. He was doing creepy shit. Like, we'd be going through the motherfucker shooting. He, you know, all the crevices and shit. Oh, my God. Your ass. Hey, everything. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> you doing, bro? <laughs> you know, he had the, he had the oh number one. He had the yes. number one haunted house in the, yes. in, 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 I think, in Ohio. Yeah. Yes. Cool dude, yeah, man. Yeah, no, yeah, shout yeah, out to the yeah. hoochie for that shit. Yeah. yeah. That plane yeah. that's on religion, that's yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's plane that I'm in when it first come on okay. the video. Okay. He donated that plane to him. And um, that plane yeah. was, he shot a, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger shot a movie here. Yeah. About a plane crash. Yeah. Okay. He donated that. I think that, he shot it in Dublin or something yeah, like that. He yeah, he donated yeah. that plane to him. So that plane is actually that plane that's on there. So some fun facts on there, man. Okay. okay. So y'all, y'all gonna see this shit be like, oh, this nigga is on some other shit. So <laughs> it's entertainment, y'all. It's entertainment. You know what I'm right, saying? I'm right. gonna, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and let the, people, <laughs> let the people know where they can find you at. Yeah. Everything Rick Rain, man. R-I-K-K-R-E-I-G-H-N. Everything Rick Rain. That's what's up, everybody. Right. We just had Rick Rain right here running. Tell that, give it yeah, up yeah, for yeah, my yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Come yes. on, thank you. What up, man? What up, man? It's your boy Rick Rain, man. I'm here with my nigga Stacks. Y'all already know what it is, man. Vegas, this shit looking good, dog. Fuck with me. Run, tell that the show, man. I'm on there, man. Talking that shit. Y'all gotta tune in. You hear me? Now run, tell that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Like I was saying before, man, there's some beautiful women in this room, man. Every one of y'all are beautiful. Can y'all make some noise, please? Make some motherfucking noise, ladies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Mr. Old School, a.k.a. Mr. I Don't Like That. I like to talk about shit I don't like. The crazy shit us men do and the crazy shit women do. Ladies first. Ladies, why y'all friends be wearing those lace front? Long ass eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Ladies, your eyelashes should not be longer than your ponytail. <laughs> and your eyelashes should not poke me in the eye when we kiss. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna put my eye out. I said, put my glasses back on, goddammit. I was eating breakfast with this woman who had some lace front, long ass eyelashes. She went to eat her eggs, and her eyelashes picked up the eggs like a fort. <laughs> and I said, look at you, bitch. Now you got egg on your face. <laughs> and I don't like that. <laughs> Fat men who wear skinny jeans. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't like that. You don't like that. I don't like that, man. Fat men in skinny jeans, they be shaped like a motherfucking ostrich. 
or a giraffe. Oh, heavy top, little leg motherfuckers. I be thinking, take those skinny pants off, go put on some fat boy pants. They call skinny jeans for a motherfucking reason. Niggas be shaped like B Smalls, trying to wear pants that'll fit Tupac. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> white people who think white privilege ain't real. Yeah, I don't like that. White privilege is real and it's powerful. It is so powerful it make white people not scared of shit. Y'all seen what they did to the Capitol building? They ain't scared of police. They ain't scared of the government. They ain't scared of lions, tigers, and bears. No. They ain't scared of shit. That's why they get mauled all the goddamn time. When I seen them going toward the Capitol building attacking that shit, I said, look at this. We got a vanilla ISIS. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Only thing is, they ain't had no weapons. White privilege is so powerful, them motherfuckers went into the most secure building with Trump flags and MAGA hats. <laughs> That's the motherfucker, ain't it? You think us niggas could have did that shit? Mm -mm, no. We came late to the meeting and all that shit, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, white privilege. I don't mm -hmm. like that. I don't like that. To them little young bras to be in my um, DM, my inbox, mm -hmm. trying to sell me some pussy for $40. <laughs> I don't like that. First of all, I don't got to pay for pussy. But I don't know about y'all. I wouldn't want no forty dollar pussy. I don't think forty dollar pussy came with child support, chlamydia, and a hint of tilapia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't yeah. like that. I'm a thirsty fish. I'm just confused on why the pussy prices drop so low. <laughs> to the ladies that I call filter fishes, you know the ones to be on Facebook, use those filters to make the skin look good. Yeah, I don't like that. Seen this woman on Facebook, her skin was perfect, dark, and smooth, like a Hershey candy bar. I seen her in person, she's like a Nestle Crunch candy bar. She had bumps every goddamn place, <laughs> like a little Debbie Star Crunch. She didn't catfish me, she filled the fish. Me. Filter Man, I don't like that. To those freaky ladies that like to suck on the balls, then pull them up and lick the ass. Ew, I don't like that. <laughs> Give a nigga a heads up first. <laughs> Bitch just lick my ass. And I punched her in the motherfucking forehead too. I said, Bitch, that felt good. And I ain't like that. <laughs> I didn't know whether to like it or not. <laughs> if I do like it, what that say about me? <laughs> so I broke up with her immediately. Because I figured she was cheating on me with an ass eater. Because you just don't start eating ass out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm a firm believer eating ass, check this out, is a learned behavior. <laughs> and I don't like that. <laughs> what else I got for y'all? <laughs> Matter of fact, because I smoke weed, took a couple notes and shit. I know when y'all at work, y'all look at y'all notes too. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, skinny hoes. <laughs> skinny hoes that's always hungry and never got no money. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> That's why I like BBWs. Big women, I love them. Big women, man, they got it going on. They always got money because they always got to eat. <laughs> you will never see a BBB, a big broke bitch. Oh, you ain't going to see that. <laughs> if you don't skinny hold to be broke at home, you got a goddamn time. Talking about feed me, feed me. Yeah. I know, bitch. I'm about to go to my big girl house. <laughs> Smoke some weed. You eat a Thanksgiving dinner on a Tuesday. Right, right. Real shit, man. Big girls will feed your ass. I went to my big girl house on a Tuesday. We smoked some weed. Next thing I know, I looked in the oven. I said, is that a butter ball in that motherfucker? She had a whole turkey in that motherfucker. She was like, yeah, it's Turkey Tuesdays. I said, Turkey Tuesdays. She was like, Turkey Tuesdays. I was like, man, fuck those tacos. I had turkey sandwiches for the rest of the week. <laughs> You are now tuned in to run and tell that. We sitting right here with uh Mr. Old School. What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin', man? How you doing? Yeah. You yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You been you been around for a minute, man. Man, I've been knowing you for a minute, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go way back. Yeah, yeah. You went from uh uh uh, uh promotion to rapping. Battle rapping. Battle rap yeah. Yeah, you hit that too. <laughs> you hit that too. Jack of um, all trades, man. Yeah, man. What what made you fall off in the comedy? Man, um, I've been doing this for three years, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've so, been following you. Yeah, so yeah. I, um, 
Everybody kept telling me to do it because of my Facebook post. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you funny you need to try, you need to try. Wild in the motherfucker, right? And I, I wild them. You see my shit. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be watching. <laughs> I'll be tuned in. But um, everybody just kept saying you need to try it. So then I, I got bored, bro. You know, I stopped throwing parties, stopped throwing shows, not battling and all that shit. So I was, what, 43 at the time. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Bucket list. Yeah, fuck it. I bombed my first two shows, bro, like horribly. Like people, like, get the fuck off the stage. Yeah, yeah. But I knew I was funny. And, um, you got Danger coming on here one time. I'm um, the comedian. Yeah, yeah. He told me, bro, because he put me in his first two shows. He said, be that nigga you, on, you is on Facebook. Stop trying to be a comedian. And that right. resonated with me for some reason. Right. And I, um, my next show, I murdered it. And all comedians know this. It's like um, all I can compare it to was when a crackhead hit crack for the first time. Mm -hmm. That high they be chasing. Keep chasing no, no. that. I've been chasing that high ever since that yeah. third show when I murdered that shit. So that that's a good thing because that's yeah. gonna keep you on your toes. You feel me? Right. I've been seeing you moving around Ohio doing big shit, funny bone, all that shit. When, when you when the next time you had the funny bone? I'm at the Funny Bone February 3rd and February 17th. We doing um you know B Scott. I don't know if you know B Scott or not, but yes. He died from cancer, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, B. Scott yeah, was a good dude. That, yeah. that he was, was the like reason. My, He's my that was like my radio yeah. plug yeah. right there. Real good dude, yeah. man. Yeah. I heard my feelings that he died, man. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. first time I ever heard my phone, my, my um, name on the radio when I was J-Dub, King of the Club promotion, was him. He put me on the radio at a good price and shit. Right. So, and didn't even know me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so what made, you, what made you change your name? Um, when I got into comedy... The reason I even call myself old school, everybody around me, all the comedians younger than me, and they was calling me old school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even though I look younger than them motherfuckers, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I look good, motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about, we was talking about uh, you dropping some pounds, I think, during the intermission or whatever like that. Yeah, I was about yeah. 350. I'm down to 230 right now. Oh, That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. Cool part about that, man. A doctor told me like three or four years ago, like, um, you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? got to do it. And I had a son. You know, I had my son late. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's 11 now, but I had him on 35. So mm -hmm. I got to live, live for him. So I start eating the right and shit. Um, right. We need our black meat. I drink a gallon of water a day. Yeah. I still smoke my mm. weed and shit. Yeah. But I work out every day. I'm. People think when you diet, you diet for a short amount of time. Don't, you diet for a short amount of time. Yes, sir. There we go. But when you diet, bro, you. Uh -huh. I'm, I've been on the diet for the last 10 years, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I have a bad week every month. I'm That's a certain it. amount of time person. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name again? Candace. Hey, Candace. Can Candace. Candace right? I didn't see her walk hey. through here early. Thank you. You know, I try. I try. <laughs> Candace, what, what's your background? Let everybody know where you come from. Where was you at? I'm from uh, Radio 1. Okay. That's my background. Make some noise for Power Candace. Power 1075, yeah. 1063. Yeah. Yeah. A little behind the scenes, but now I'm on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... You were saying battle rapping. I, I remember some shit back when I was rapping. And you and you 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 was battle rapping somebody. Who talking about battle scopes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas wasn't expecting that, was they? Nah, nah, that shit was so funny. I broke shit. SoundCloud numbers, bro, when I, I put that shit out, bro. Yeah, you know that, what shit what that shit was funny. That shit was funny, funny, bro. That's when I should have known I was gonna be a comedian, bro. Yeah. Cause that shit was funny as fuck. I wasn't even rapping, I was cracking on that nigga the whole song. Yeah, so. That shit was classic though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ain't about to play that shit, is you? Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't going to play. I ain't going to play. I ain't going to play. <laughs> them, bars, them, was, uh, them bars. Them bars are kind of uh, uh, junior high ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to start uh, somewhere, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. But he did his thing. Got to give yeah. it up to him. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So um, we wish you the best, man. Plug yourself yeah. in where you at, where everybody can find you at. Um, on Instagram, as Mr. Old School, number one. And um, what, Facebook? Yeah, Mr. Old School on there, Mr. Old School Wiley on there. Yeah, come to a mic. Uh, I got my own website to too, Mr. Mr. Old School dot com. Go. I got my yeah. own website too. You can go there, but Instagram, Mr. Old School One, Facebook, Mr. Yeah. Old School. Yo, and everybody I'll, give it up to J Dub. Yeah. Hey, my bad, Mr. Old School. That's Old my school, nigga. Yeah. So I know him with some everybody. other love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Mr. Old School now. Who are you? What's up, it's your girl, Destiny. Unique, require progress. Where's the humble? profitable lifestyle when you work in silence and show up loud run tell that we have clothing designer creator yes. of quiet progress destiny make some motherfucking noise for destiny you feel me What's up, Des? What's up? What's up? How you been? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you looking good. I Thank see. You. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, eyebrows on point. Hair on point. <laughs> you feel me? Chain over there shining. Yes. 
That's saying uh, hard. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do talk right now. How you get into fashion? I want to consider it fashion. What is it? Um, it's a brand. A, a lifestyle. Brand. I like that. Okay. It's a lifestyle. I like that. Explain the lifestyle. A humble, profitable lifestyle where okay. you work in silence and show up loud. Yeah, yeah. So is that what That's you get the name? Of your uh, the name actually come from a, a season of me literally having to move in silence. Mm-hmm. Like not talk, just work. Mm-hmm. Here to show, the, to show the progress. Look. Yes. Yes. Show the progress later. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the the Quiet Progress brand actually came from a literal vision, and I took it and ran with it. Make some motherfucking noise <laughs> for Destiny, man. Yeah. So what else you got going on? Mm, a book, a little project a little I got project? coming out, a little okay. music okay. here and there. Yeah. A little you know. music. Yeah, what you doing? Music. Rapping? You singing? What? Both. A both? little bit of both. Uh, I ghost write all her shit. If she, get a, yeah. if she get a yeah, check, I ghost write that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you right now. I need a piece. <laughs> so what, what's your book about? What, what? It's called um, Trapped in the Lies of Your Truth. Okay. It's a life experience. When, when could we expect that to be out? Real Still soon. working on it? Or? It's, it's done. It's okay. just in the production. All right. Yep. It's done. That's good. So um, what was I going to say? So what I want to say, like, how do you come up with the designs to fit? Because I watch you, I watch mm-hmm. your moves and your clothes and what you, how you got your brand and all that. Like they, they popping, the colors is popping, you know. So how do you come up with that? Like, what is your vision to come up with that? Actually, I just see visions. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I really just see visions, and I just. Put it on paper. I uh, reach out to the people that help me to design and put everything in um, to bring my vision to, you know, to life. Mm-hmm. And I just you take. Got, you got you got a team and you got a lot of supporters, man. I just I know just from seeing on social media that a lot of people be in your brand. I'm like, damn, they got on this brand. So that's a good look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah, I mean, you working? Yeah, yeah, you hustling? Yeah. You on your grind. Yep. So, um, do you have a, a local store or is it just online products or? It's online right that? now. I got a website that I still online um, sell online. I'm mm-hmm. high. Can somebody yeah. roll some reefer? www.qplifestyle.com. Can we get some weed rolled up in so here. So you you design clothes? No, I don't actually design clothes. Um, I, well, I guess you can consider it mm-hmm. designing clothes, mm-hmm. but um, I just take my logo and I. Put it on just plain plain clothes. Right, yeah. Make them pop. Your design, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Add your own touch to it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> you born and raised here? You do any traveling? What you do? Born and raised. Yeah. Right here, North Sider. North Side. Yeah, North Side. <laughs> North Side. Well, I definitely yeah. do a lot of traveling. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Where you from, North Side? Brittany Hills. Brittany Hills? <laughs> yeah. A lot of a lot of good people come out there. A lot of hustlers. Definitely, oh, really? yeah, for Definitely. sure. Brittany Hills, yes. Oh really? Yeah, city from no. Brittany Hills. Yes. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the heart of the north oh. side. <laughs> right. Yes, indeed. What? Can, you from Brittany Hills? Man? No, that's why uh, I said, oh really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, east side. Yeah. Oh, east. oh okay, okay, okay. East side too. I yeah, live on the east okay, side. You okay, feel me? Okay. Um, but shit, let everybody know where they can find you at. Oh no 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 no! Okay. I'm sorry. You got some models. So show, show me off some of your designs. Let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah. So I, right now I'm capitalizing off of my um, billionaire concepts. Okay. Billionaire basis. Okay. You know, just a a, a lifestyle. Yeah. Where you put your mind in um put your mind in place. Yeah. Uh, know that um we get caught up in. Speaking the move before it's made, which in turn uh, put us in a place to where we feel pressure from our surroundings, you know, it causes us to kind of rush our process and we don't produce the full potential of what we got inside of us. So that's the whole thing of the, the billionaire concepts is just moving in silence. So, mm-hmm. so um, describe some of them billionaire concepts. Let let the let the people see. Like, let them into your world. Can you go over some of that? Uh, 
uh, my guy right here kind of got someone right now. Let me see. Can we get him on? Can we get him on here? Come on, yeah. Can we get him on here? Yeah. Come show that shit off, my nigga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Come on up here. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. 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 I like it. I like it. Turn up. Yeah. We'll okay. definitely have something for the men. Yeah, definitely. You, do, men, you, women, do, kids. do you got something for the fat niggas? Like, I yes, eat rallies I and shit like that. Yes, I You can order yeah, all I, that. Like, I, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that nigga look like he's been in the gym for like at least a week. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You got something for a nigga like me. I'm laying in the bed watching motherfucking uh, rain, I guess. Eat Oreos and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> eating Oreos, drinking beer and shit. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Getting fat. But um, I like that. All yeah, sizes. Definitely uh, expanding. Yes, yeah, all sizes. Good. Men, women, female, yeah. kids. All Go right, ahead and plug yeah. yourself. Where you at? Where people can find uh, you? At? IG underscore destiny one unique. Um, silent grind is quiet progress. Silent grind underscore is underscore quiet progress. And then I'm on Facebook at Destiny Unique. Yeah, right. yeah. Make some noise for yes. my fucking Destiny. Yeah, support that brand, man. She out here moving. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah. me. I appreciate yeah, yeah. the invite. I didn't even bring Thanks up the other shit I wanted to bring up, though. Go ahead. Thanks for coming. What's, what's, what's up with you and BG? You know, I called you that's like that. Like, <laughs> you, you, that this your nigga? Like, was you like, nah, that's my people's. So nah, that's with. my dog. That's my yeah. people. We, I yeah. don't want those celebrity issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we talking about BG from Cash Money. She fuck okay. with him heavy. I'm going to say, what's going on yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what's up, man. Make some noise for uh, motherfucking Destiny real quick. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I'm going hard, 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 hard. I ain't finna let up. You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck up. So sick, I need a checkup. I'm just trying to run a checkup. Drop to my knees, brand to the Lord, please keep a nigga blessed up. Cause I'm going hard, 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 hard. I ain't finna let up. You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck up. So sick, I need a checkup. I'm just trying to run a checker. Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord, please keep a nigga blessed up. Hey, niggas be hey, like, bruh, bro, niggas be acting like they be going hard and shit, nigga, but you know me, nigga. I, 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 I just go hard in a motherfucker, nigga. I, I ain't finna let up, you feel me? I'm going hard, 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 I ain't finna let up You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck up So sick, I need a checkup I'm just trying to run a checkup Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord, please keep a nigga blessed up Cause I'm going hard, 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 I ain't finna let up You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck up So sick, I need a checkup I'm just trying to run a checkup Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord, please keep a nigga blessed up Cause I'm going hard, I'm going harder than other niggas Middle finger to you sucker niggas Baby mama mad at a nigga She ain't trippin' cause she love a nigga Don't do that bullshit in front of me Keep the 40 on the side of me Why the fuck would you lie to me? I'm the nigga that you try to be Nelly cause you 380 Most striped in the Navy If a nigga try to play me Might fuck his old lady I ain't tryna make a baby I'm just tryna drive her crazy Fuck the little nigga bitch Now his whole hood hate me Know I pull up with the stick Better know I let it hit Bite down like a pit Seven grams, that's a bit I'm on my young nigga shit Out here trying to get rich Superman to these hoes You can call me Clark Kent I'm going hard, 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 hard I ain't finna let up You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain Speaking from the neck up So sick, I need a checkup I'm just trying to run a checkup Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord Please keep a nigga blessed up Cause I'm going hard, 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 hard I ain't finna let up you can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck up. So sick, I need a checkup. I'm just trying to run a checkup. Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord, please keep a nigga blessed up. Cause I'm going hard. Banana clip for these monkey niggas. Y'all food for these junkie niggas. Real food for my hungry niggas. Track shoes for these running niggas. Rock set, kill them all. So I came to kill them all. Fuck, hate the stack paper. Okay. It's just me and my dog. Run a circle around these square niggas. Freddy Krueger to these scared niggas. Them and me don't compare niggas. They meet him well and I'm rare niggas. If I let a nigga try me, might have to catch a body. Wrong place at the wrong time. By definition of a rider. Got your ops right beside you. 
Fuck 12, they gon' hide us Fuck High speed chase shit Damn. If them pussies get behind us I'm on my young nigga shit I had tryna get ripped <laughs> Superman of these hoes You can call me Clark Kent I'm going hard, 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 hard I ain't finna let up You can see the pain underneath a nigga chain Speaking from the neck up So sick, I need a checkup I'm just tryna run a checkup Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord Please keep a nigga blessed up Cause I'm going hard, 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 hard I ain't finna let up you can see the pain underneath a nigga chain speaking from the neck up. So sick, I need a checkup. I'm just trying to run a checkup. Drop to my knees, praying to the Lord, please keep a nigga blessed up. Cause I'm going hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's messed up. It's up. Yeah, yeah. It's messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's messed up.